I have another chart of the week. Hey. So, uh i i'm i'm talking all about the downward movements and and i have to give this to sean his paypal effect here and sean <laughs> covers paypal a lot so thanks to your paypal effect uh the stock was down 13% on friday the on my watch list this stock was at the top loser and 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 the and the funny thing we talked about uh that it has a very bullish momentum going into earnings uh they had got a bn they had an upgrade from couple analyst especially bnp and they beat on eps a uh, non gap gap it was a miss but they beat on revenue top line bottom line non gap and it was a decent earnings put to call is still 0.66 so still very bullish but i think because of the paypal effect uh, the stock really dipped below all you know all the moving averages right now it broke the trend line that was on you know it's not on the can on the chart here but the, if you drew that trend line it, it broke exactly. right clean below it right yeah and uh might even have moved up to test it when it moved back up to that 70 roughly 70 level but yeah that is just a brutal chart last week for school for block um are you looking at uh, yes so so you were saying it was on your watch list were you hoping yes. for this are you looking yes. not necessarily this but were you looking for this pullback I, I was actually hoping it would I would get a pullback. I wasn't expecting a 13% pullback because I was <laughs> hoping for the range of 75. So if it bounces off 75, if you notice that a couple of weeks ago it was bouncing off. Yeah. I was looking of getting in and, and doing a short-term trade on this one. So mostly from an option standpoint, get in on a weekly basis and get out and range bound from 75 to 80. But I didn't expect this major pullback. So this also gives a good opportunity to get back in because the 55 was the low from I think mid-May. Uh, I don't expect the stock to move that lower, but anything can happen. Uh, but I think it's a good good way. The, the premiums have gone up because of it. So uh, next week, definitely, I'm getting into the square uh, trade. Interesting. So I've got a question for you, for, for the viewers mainly, I guess. What do you reckon the difference between PayPal and Square is? How do they differ and basically give people a reason to look at the stock maybe moving forward in the coming months? Yeah, so I think uh, the the biggest difference that I would say both are payment, uh, they, they both have payment options. Uh, Square actually also is a hardware company, right? So they also deal with merchants, small small to medium sized merchants. You have those, you know, point of sale devices that they also sell. That's one thing. They also have Cash App, which acts like a, I guess a mini bank, a trading portal where you can you know send cash to each other. You can trade from there. So it has a little bit more diverse uh, services, products and services. Uh, I'm more than actually happy to, I'll actually, you know what, Sean, I'm going to answer that question. I'll make a video out of it uh, on the Square and uh, PayPal, a uh, difference between the products and services. So uh, that would be something that we can also, you know, the audience can take a look at it. But it is, it has much more broader products and services compared to PayPal as of now. Oh, nice. Cool. Tune in for that, Kale. Break it down. Looking forward to that, Kay. 